any difficulties at all. They're under orders for the Bonans and they're off, and Deja bust out on the stand side. So does Dead Certain, who's very fast away on the stand side. And towards the centre, it's the French challenger who is running very fast indeed, Ron's victory, and Great Chaddington's also. Uh, Todd is also up there with the leaders, but it's Dejour on the rails. Willie Carson's got over to the rails, and he leads by two from Todd in second. Ron's victory on the outside, tracked by Duck and Dive. On the outside is Ferris Delight making a bit of ground. And Dead Certain is not running a race at all. Look at her head. Dead Certain dropping right out of it. The same has happened at Newbury. It's Dejour on the rails, pressed by Todd. On the outside, the Frenchman Ron's victory. Here comes great commotion with a big run as they race down past the two furlong marker. Dejour by two. Great commotion coming to challenge. On the wide outside, it's Ron's victory battling on. But Dejour is storming clear. This is a sensational performance. Dejour going four or five lengths clear on the ground that he doesn't really like. Here comes the Irish challenger Royal Academy, closing the gap a little bit, but Willie Carson's cruising home on Dejour. Dejour, a real champion sprinter. Royal Academy pursues him home, but Dejour wins it at the line. Royal Academy is second. Ferris Delight is third. Fourth was great commotion. Fifth was the French challenger Ron's victory, then duck and dive, and then Todd. And last of the eight, or last except for Dead Certain, was Stadaplest. A dead Certain, who had a complete off day today, but a sensational success for number three, Dejour, in the Ladbrook Sprint Cup. Dejour, owned by Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum, trained by Major Dick Hearn, and ridden by Willie Carson. Second number six, Royal Academy, owned by Classic Thoroughbreds, PLC, trained by Vincent de Brown, ridden by John Reed. Third, Number nine, Ferris Delight, owned by Aldera Bloodstock Holdings, trained by Peter Hudson and ridden by Michael Roberts. The fourth horse was number one, great commotion. The winner went through the speed trap at 40.79 miles an hour. That's uh, not quite uh, a world record. A steward's inquiry has been called. Uh, they must be inquiring into how far Dejour won, but no doubt something happened in behind the first two. Let's uh, review the entire race with Jimmy Lindley. Well, this is one that I've been waiting for the whole season. You saw Willie bounce Dejour out of stall seven, tack his way across to the rails, because this is where the fastest ground is. But just look how much speed he's got under wraps here. He actually is keeping him back a little bit because he's got that extra furlong to go. His last three races have all been over five. Like in the Nunthorpe at York, he let him really blast. But now, after he gets to the four, just look at him, give him that little bit of rain. Look at the French invader on the outside, in fact, trying to get into the race. This is, in fact, Ron's victory. who had run him so close at Ascot to the last furlong, and then Dejour had that little bit up his sleeve at Ascot. Well, he's going to prove it again today. The French invader, that's him, Ron's victory, the chestnut on the white outside. But let's go back to his main challenger in a moment. That's John Reed right back in behind the rest of the runners on the Royal Academy. And he's just, he knows that he's really only got one to beat here today. He goes for the split there, and this is what the stewards' inquiry might have been about. John Reed now sets Royal Academy after Dejour, but Dejour has saved that little bit, although he's coming back all the time to Royal Academy. For me, walking around the paddock, the Irish invader looks like a marler, but he can run like a sprinter as well, catching him all the way to the line. But what a